Okay, now that we got the two boxes together, we just put one on top of the other, just like a so. Hi folks and welcome back. Don't forget to like us, comment, and subscribe. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these barn boards and we're going to make a uh, cooler that you can uh, take out in your uh, backyard for your barbecues and so forth. So let's get started. We're going to run over to the other machine and start cutting some pieces. Now there we got four sides. I'll be right back. going to nail a box together. That's all we're going to do, just nail a box together. Always make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. You don't want to nail through your finger. That's going to hurt. time. Now then, we got to get some legs. I'll be right back.
now that we got the two boxes together, we just put one on top of the other, just like a so. There we go. Okay. Then we start to put the legs on. Something went wrong. Let's see if this gun is not working right. Works for when it wants to. It's got a mind of its own. Now then, we want to put a bottom on here, so let's get some more pieces here. Make sure you switch to a smaller nail. Now that we got that done, here's what I get. Just a ribbon all the way around. This is where we're going to put our subfloor. So we can just turn this over now and put it on the floor so we can put a floor on there. Put these in there, put them in there one at a time. I'm going to shoot them in, but for right now, we're just going to put them in here. Now, it's a good idea to leave just a little bit of space in between them, about an eighth of an inch or so. You can go a little bit more than that, as much as a quarter, because wood, this is bound to get wet. Wood, as it gets wet, it will expand, and then when it dries, it will contract. So make sure that when you nail these in, you leave about, uh, oh, at least a good 3 16 on each, on each side. So that they don't really touch, they stay about that far apart. So I'm just going to keep it real simple for now. You can make a, a nice fancy liner for that, but what I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use a, uh, a kitchen trash bag. Put your ice in there, put your beer and your wine in there, and you're all set to go. If you want to get really creative, you can make a nice top for this and attach it with a couple of hinges. It'll keep this, you keep ice for two, three, four hours. So, there you have it. <laughs>